No pictures, please. No pictures, please. No pictures, please. Please, please. Ooh, I feel very fashionable. For the day, we're gonna learn how to make, that's right, our very own upcycled scarf. Now, what does upcycle mean? It means taking something old, not recycling it, but taking and making it better. So, if you got an old t-shirt, I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make this very fashionable scarf. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. So what you're gonna need to make this really great, creative, upcycled scarf. Upcycling is kind of like recycling, but upcycling means taking something old and making it better. So we're gonna be upcycling this old t-shirt. As you notice, my t-shirt already has some paint and some cuts on it. So what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is find a t-shirt that you want to cut, and it's okay for your people, ask your people if you can cut it. So first thing, you're gonna lay it flat, and you're gonna cut off actually the arm part. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut straight. So I'm only gonna need this part, but hang on to this part because you might get creative and make something else out of it. So I'm gonna lay this again flat. Now you notice mine already had some cuts in it. So yours might not have cuts in it, but since mine does, I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the parts that are kind of already cut. But also, I'm not discard them because we can use them. I mean, check this out. Boop da boop. I mean, now my hair's out of my way. Am I right? So I'm gonna lay this flat again. I'm going to lay it this way so it's easier for you guys to see. And what you guys are going to do, move my sunglasses, you're going to take your scissors, you're going to cut both sides all the way up, but you're going to stop about, I say inch away, okay? You notice I'm about an inch away down here, cameraman, can you get closer and see that? So, I, only st I stopped about an inch away. Now, if you need to, you can measure if you'd like. So, I could take a blue marker, and I can measure. I mean, Miss Lucy wasn't that bad job. I was about an inch and a half. So, I'm at, so, I'll go ahead and mark an inch. So, I just need to make my cut a little bit longer. Then, I'm going to continue to cut this in strips until my scarf is complete. Now I'm only gonna cut a few and then we'll skip to the end because you guys know how to cut. Cut one more. like magic like magic it's done so the next thing is you're gonna take your nice <laughs> swirly burly squid octopus thing and then you're gonna take each one what you are gonna do is you're gonna pull it not too hard but just enough as you notice it starts to roll take each one and pull it not too hard because you don't want to pull it from the actual top off. Pull. 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 Man, this is looking so cool. This is a good one. So now that you have it all pulled, you can hold it up and open it out so you can see it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just put it all together. 
just like that, and you've got a scarf. Now you're like, how am I gonna keep this scarf together? Well, we didn't discard the other material, so I'm gonna take this sleeve right here, and I'm gonna cut off the you nose right here, camera man. You've got this great seam right here where the sleeve is, so I'm gonna cut this off. Then I cut it in half, give it a little tug, then take, we're still holding our material, even it out, and I'm not gonna tie it in a knot quite yet, I'm just gonna pull it tight, then I'm just gonna kind of wrap it, then, you suit closer, what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna tuck it under itself. Take the other side, just locate it somewhere. Pretty good. Oh, here it is. Wrap it. Then tuck it in. Sorry, I'm going to hold it up here and tuck it into its own side here. Then, we have our very own scarf. 